Hello everyone and welcome back. So starting to move our troops over here. Um yeah, by the way I'm continuing this game from a couple of days ago. And we have whipped some factories. And I, I, I had some I had a couple of days here where I was just doing other stuff and um, had this game in the back of my mind. There's a couple of things that I think is a bit off with this attack. Because Sharka, he has been plotting for pretty much the entire game. Uh, he have instantly actually taken out two cities from uh, Arabia here. And um, he's actually at rifling. So um, our cuirassiers and cannons, sure they will be okay, but they won't be dominating. So what I'm thinking about is actually maybe we should get a better tech advantage here. I think he's yeah he's far away from uh, <coughs> not far away. He's three techs away from uh, artillery. But he's far away from uh, stuff like tanks. So I'm, I'm almost thinking that we should get tanks up and running. Like, yeah, and he's far. He's two techs away from uh, assembly line as well. Um. Yeah, I think the, our current tech advantage is it's better to be used for something like that. So we don't really force a situation. We'll get we'll get these units over here and maybe even some cannons so we can help defend Saladin if we need to. And of course we'll make units, but we I don't think we will attack. That's a pretty pretty big difference between uh, other plan here. Zero point twenty five. I really don't. Oh, okay, damn it. I really don't want that city to flip. Is there a way we can get some units over there? Hello. Yeah, so I think we're actually going to focus on getting up some tanks that will also utilize our tech advantage in a little bit better way than if we just. Because he has the numbers. We kind of have some numbers, but uh, yeah. Have you used a moment? Yeah, we have used a moment. <coughs> yeah, we kind of have the numbers as well, but uh, we need it. I think we need a better attack advantage if you're going to attack him. Um, yeah. I also think we are going to switch into. Let's see, how's our. The factory that's the big building. Yeah, I should be more careful about how I whip these guys. Uh, okay. Also, going to take back this tile. A really good tile to work since we have a levee over here. This is, yeah, solid stuff. We need Sid Sushi in this city. Here we have Sid Sushi. Yeah, 
yeah, just have to take a little bit. Um, I also want Sitsushi in this city. That'd be kind of funny. Kind of fun. So one guy coming here. Yeah. But I actually think we're going to go for industrialization here. <coughs> and uh, to get industrialization, I think we want railroads first. Just because that's uh, going to help everything a little bit. Also, yeah, yeah factories. So you can do a six pop whip for a factory here. I don't think we're going to whip as much. I think the whipping. Uh, that whole whipping thing. Yeah. And let's see. Let's build the mines here. Yeah, I think the whipping thing is... Um, I did that under uh, false pretenses. Like... Sure, we'll whip some 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 factories, but uh, we'll whip it where we see it fit. But yeah. like over here, here we will actually want a factory because it will help. Uh, We'll be able to generate um, engineers here. And a couple of engineer specialists. And we're also going to. Yeah, well, we can't do that. I'm going to max out these guys as much as possible since we're in a golden age. So. Here we need to remember to whip. I think this is fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think we're going to get railroads. We don't want to get railroads. Railroads, it's. Rail railroads is a fun tech. Really a fun tech. So, we're going to continue. <coughs> so, we're going to do this. Yeah, right here we don't really need anything. I get a harbor here. Like getting a factory in this city, mm, it's not going to be realistic. Let's see, Let's grab this town factory. Two turns. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm really going to like this. 
one turn. This is one ridiculous production city. But I really don't like to have a, even a, the slightest chance of this city revolting. I might even build the ironworks here. We have a levee, we have this tile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight riverside tiles. Amazing food. So this might actually be our ironwork city. Seven turns. <coughs> Factory, yes. Two turns. We are going to be a lot more careful about whipping, uh, I think, than I originally had planned. Like right now, you see. Um, yeah, the reason is we have uh, really good tiles here. And you know what, let's just bring uh, some of these guys over here. This revolt chance is not... ...cool thing. And okay, let's see. Can this guy go get over here? This guy can, so let's spread it. <laughs> yeah, infantry. That's a fine support unit, I guess. And this guy, I guess, is going to go over here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to just switch around a little bit with these guys. Not going to be um, too focused on anything, yeah. And I'm kind of still. We could go for Saladin or we could go for Shaka, but uh, I think we're going to go. Have to go for Shaka because Saladin. He has more annoying text. He has the physics. I don't like to attack the uh, physics and um, is closish to artillery. Well, we can't really say for sure, but but okay. Let's just get a vision guy. I'm going to figure out. Yeah, it looks like some troops are gathering over here. I think this guy is going to go uh, over here. <coughs> Did we see any army here? Maybe down here. Oh, we had a guy. Yeah, I'm picking this game up after a couple of days. Let's see. 
Well, there's his army. And yeah, as I said, tons of uh, riflemen. We will be able to get him down, but there's going to be riflemen here with 8 strength, even though we waste all of our cannons and whatnot, so 8, 9 strength, and that will be 70-ish odds, I think. So, it'll end up just making everything a little bit awkward. Um, yeah. End up having like a 70% odds against him. That's really not that good. When you have to kill off 30 units. That you, like statistically you're going to lose. Hey, you know how statistic, stat, statistic work so. And we have no reason to grow over too much over there. So let's just make another uh, one of these. Here we can get some pretty ridiculous overflow. That's an idea. Three pop. Yeah, we'll whip away a 9, 13 hammers per turn for a significant boost. Yeah, well, so much for not whipping, but we're going to instantly regrow. So that's basically we whipped away two population here to grab a factory into uh, another thing. So that's that's the thing. We're going to look for uh, good whips. Maybe we have a good whip over here next turn. <laughs> Just uh, too good of a tile. Yeah, I think we rather want this city to regrow quick, so. Maybe that's the city we want to focus on stuff. Yeah, let's finish this coal plant as well. <coughs> Can whip away two population here. And yes, we want a coal plant here, obviously. Uh, did we move any units here? Okay, we're going to move them over here and take some cursors off this city and send them. So that's fine. It's sushi executive. Nice. So this is why we whipped here because you can get a one board, one turn uh, thing. I'm going to make one guy here. Then we're going to make our observatory. 
and then we might start on um, Yeah, and then we might start on, um, let's see, and we're going to make a farm here. Yeah, and after that we might even start on, um, damn it, well, definitely need more units over there. So, uh, god damn it. That's back to back revolt. Going to go over here, make one Jewish missionary here. Think we might just spread it to the capital or something. Yeah, we're going to build a lot of buildings in the capital. So, we'll see. Yeah, I'll use the curious Um next turn. Oh. Yeah, next turn I'm going to whip here. Yeah, getting some okay growth there. Let's get that coal plant in one turn though. Then maybe a Hindu temple? Sure. This city, it, it grew, so uh, yeah. We're going two turns. It's fine, I guess. Just want this city to uh, reach its potential again. Over here. Oh, oh yeah. No, oh, we need uh, We need this granary or factory. Are we whipping in that city without a factory? Let's get out that great ray quick and even stop restrain the growth a little bit in that city. Just just until we have the grain ray up and run again. So yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and there's this thing. Okay, so that's not going to be fun. Well, it's going to be fun if I have the correct uh, units, but uh, I think we're just going to move our stack in range. So this is <laughs> salad and defense, basically. Let's see. Do so you have a stack over here as well? No. 
think we're just going to position our troops like uh, between his units right here. And it reminds me, I think we need uh, a warp or something over there. Well, can't really do too much right now anyways. So yeah. Old plants, one infantry. Man, I. We can't afford one single turn of this city not being uh, operational. So. We are going to get a, uh, the guy over here. Then we're going to start Sid Sushi from this city. Spread to this. I want to delay to Delhi. This is a great city to spawn great people from as well, so... Okay, is there anything we want to do with these guys? Maybe send this guy to something else? Uh, physics? 14? Sure. I wonder if we're even going to build this thing here. Like we can get out one unit per turn here. So... It's really... Oh, just going to keep making infantry I guess. Also going to use this. This would be a good case for whipping, I think. Hundred overflow that we can sink into. Um, I don't know. Instant regrowth. It's nice. Here we have 70 overflow. Where's the... I think the yellow line is right here. Only 70 overflow? Why is this so much lower? Like over here we almost got a hundred from buildings. Well, I don't really want to whip this it anyways. Here, rowing, yes. So, <laughs> well, I think we, in, we are in uh, good preparation here. Uh, do we just want to whip this thing? Probably wait for next turn, actually. Is this a good turn to kind of just switch into... Confucianism a little bit. Let's see. Greenery. 
Well, it, it it's also another thing about it. It's like the new world is needing more stuff. Kind of uh, become re relevant. So. Uh, Why are we getting a factory over here? Don't need a factory over here. Yeah, we need to finish a forge. Might even whip it. Yeah, let's whip it. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last turn of Judaism. And I'm going to do the last little bit of whips here. And then we're going to switch into Confucians if we want to whip every building that's... That looks whippable. This. And then we're just going to leave it at that. Leave it at that, I think. Still two turns, sure. So, do this. Yeah, the scientist over here is a better, better investment, I think. Also getting fairly close to our happiness cap here. Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah, and we really want to be in Confucianism right now. Maybe even pacifism. Okay, mm -hmm. next turn. There's finally a library in this city. So I think we just have to do it like this over here. Not going to bother with anything else. Okay, infantry. Let's just grab the cannon then. Missionary, sure. Coal plant, nice. Yeah, so you can see our uh, production <laughs> Rising. Maybe just get a core house here. Since we have a good building uh, thing. And yeah. What the hell? <coughs> no. Coal plant. Nice. I think we're just going to build a couple of turns of wealth over here. And we also need to establish some farms again. So the city can regrow. So amazing tiles over here. Nice, it's no real chance anymore. It's good. We have a guy over here. Boom. Um, yes, yes, yes. This guy, I think we're just going to send him to the capital. These guys can almost go all the way. Well, that didn't really help too much.
Let's see. Well, we can afford taking all of these guys off, so that's what we're going to do. More guys. Yeah, getting railroads is going to be a nice upgrade for our empire, I would say. Just going to stack all of these units over here and then we're going to push over. These guys, get over here. You make mines. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get some guys on the boats already. Fine. So, we're grabbing an observatory here. That's fine. The factory is kind of coming up in this region now. We need some guys ready here for this. Yeah, with the factories popping up here. Let's see, we can whip away tree population. That's these tiles, I guess. Yeah, I don't really want to whip here. Just so good tiles to whip away. And here we need a um, missionary. That's great, one Jewish missionary actually. I'm starting to think that we should just stay in Judaism. So uh, let's create a missionary for the best uh, overflow and uh, prepare. Let's see this guy into a workshop again. Yeah, but this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to wait until shark attacks, then I'm going to just help wiping out uh, his stack <laughs> and uh, watch Saladin do his thing. And then we're going to sneak in and yeah, take some action here, I guess. One guy, then we're going to go for wealth. Here we finally did something. Yeah. Don't want to whip here, but maybe we are going to do it. Definitely want to whip over here. Or 
fucking uh, <coughs> so many strange things here. Such a nice production city. Yeah, the thing about creating a bunch of missionaries is that we... This is a great person farm, this is a great person farm, so we can get these guys running. Um, maybe even in the capital. This won't really be any real use. Judaism standpoint. Maybe we should get it over here as well. Nah, this is this guy is not going to be able. So I'm thinking maybe we go into the the classics here, pacifism cast, and uh, we do all of those switches. Stay in Judaism. And we all those we do all those switches next turn. And we will pick up all the yeah. Then we'll just pick up all the great person uh, people that we need to start another golden age. So one, two, yeah, that third missionary somewhere. And yeah, maybe it's out moving. Yeah, so I think we're going to do that. And uh, we'll kick off even another golden age here. Looks like we need some stuff here. Yeah, they're starting to devalue marble. But that's okay. Next turn. <laughs> and we did indeed get a factory over here. So we're going to use him. So we're going to make sit sushi executives over here. That's an important uh, thing. And yeah, it creates so nice overflow. So it's pretty much the same thing. Let's see. Here we're going to spread sit sushi. Boom. Then you oh come on! Don't you have everything ready here? I really want to spread to this city. Just look at it. See. And when this city starts to grow, we're just going to... Yeah, need to focus on stuff like this. Maybe this is the city where we get the globe theater in. It's on a river, we have a harbor here, like the health is going to be, and we have, s yeah, this is, this might just be our globe theater city, I'm just going to keep growing and growing and growing this city.
Well, it's either globe or an ironworks. Let's check this, 7%. Okay, finally we're Okay, let's get on the boats. Yes, and he has a nice stack. It's going to be interesting when he finally declares if he if he's going to declare. I think he's starting to have like second. Um, yeah, not looking too confident. And okay, I guess we'll do this. Uh, workshops of mortals. I was really hoping that that city over there was going to. Um, Yeah, be a bit more productive. I think we're going to spread over here next. Oh, damn it. Like, you can see this. Four hammers turns into... Eight, basically. Here we are grabbing some growth. Make this into a one turn farm. Yep, let's do it. Still an amazing production tile, so that's fine. Yeah, just getting some wealth there. And uh, this is going to be the last turns, turn of whipping. So we're going to do one one whip here. And I also think we're going to do the same whip over here. Just because factories are uh, so big, big buildings. And I'm going to make a farm again to stay right here. Um, yeah, right here, I think. So, just going to do this. Uh, now, we are going to have to switch into our stuff. I think cast and uh, pacifism. Just to kick off our new, um, like our great, uh, great person thing. Under the fifty, yeah. Did 
Judaism, caste, and pacifism. Seems like a good idea to me. Some more happiness resources next turn as well. Um, yeah. Going to whip. Since we can't really whip. Oops. Sure. Yeah, we can't really whip later, so. Oh yeah, we have one extra happiness. Well, let's grab the coal plant first then. We also can build a national epic somewhere. So, do we whip here though? I don't think so. Over here we're going to whip. Running inefficient tiles. And probably over here as well. Yeah. It's just about running. If you're running stupid tiles, then you're gonna get whipped. Here... I think this is just a fine city to just produce some wealth in. But if you're just going to produce wealth, you might as well just work. This is uh, 6 yield tiles and this is 6 yield tiles, so not a huge difference. But yeah, I think that was a good uh, little round of whipping. And now we're going to switch into pacifism cast and watch our gold um this has no upkeep this has high upkeep that's going to maybe balance each other out but we're going to pay one gold per um, per unit let's see civic upkeep 222 yeah maybe it's actually going to be a little bit cheaper this is medium this is medium so that's not a big difference Rep, Bureau, Cast, yeah. Let's check this. Well, paying less. Should have checked the numbers. The unit cost. It's now up, but I wonder if we ended up gaining some dollars there. And yeah, we are going to do, just going to do this now. Might even just starve for a little second here. Making sure that we get as much as possible from our golden age. Can borrow this for one turn. Alright. And yeah, our cast uh, shops are finally back in action as well. That's, that's good to see. Oh, let's try to guarantee a merchant here. We need a little bit of uh, yeah. You know the word I'm looking for. Uh, we don't need a lot of scientists. We need a little bit of everything here. I'll keep that one engineer. That's nice. 
We're also getting a lot of uh, science out of this. So, kind of making uh, things work here. So, we'll stop doing stupid stuff in these kind of cities. Actually, pick up some beakers. Oh, pick up this stuff. Nice. Here we can. Yeah, that's a lot better. Generating some uh, hundred wealth uh, gold per turn. That's that's about right. Should be able to start to take off units from this city. Oh, even with the uh, amount of culture we have here, still can't do it. But yeah, 40. We, ha we are getting like 44 culture per turn now, so it's going to be okay. So right here we're actually going to focus on an artist or an engineer. Let's go for engineer here. Well, these tiles are just too good not to work to not not to work, I would say. So let's go for either an engineer or an artist over here. But still try to grow in two turns. Yeah, we need Sitsushi over here. And here it is. And okay, Bombay. We are growing, so that's fine. This city will get Sid Sushi next turn. So just going to do the last turn of the Golden Age in uh, max research because we get pretty solid yields from this uh, city now. So. Let's go. We got that factory up, and yeah. Well, that's not too bad, considering we're not in a golden age. That's a bit worse. That's actually pretty good, I guess. Yeah, cannon into infantry into cannon. Oh, damn it. Well, that's actually a good thing, but uh, yeah. And let's get that library here. Factory. Coal plant. I'm going to grab a harbor here after that. <coughs> and oh yeah. Riverside riverside grasslands are actually better than mines. But it that's only for a short term, short time though. Let's see, did, we see, did I see? Yeah, I saw that guy. Well, we're going to take care of him. Nice. 2% okay. Well that's it's starting to help. 1% nice. Yeah, I'm really glad we did this. And finally. Mm, other cities. 
Let's just get these guys over here for now. Okay, let's do it like this. And okay, here we see Saladin, he picked up artillery. So we would have had to fight artillery if we attacked him. Not something I'm... Like, I don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, I just don't want to do that, like, yeah, completely, voluntarily. And yeah, negative gold per turn. Okay, we have to fix that. Yeah, we have to fix that somehow. Here we go. Yeah, nice. Stupid privateers. We're going to make one ironclad. They're actually pretty okay with... Uh, <laughs> the city also has a ton of specialists. Yeah, this is just an absolutely ridiculously nice city. Speaking of, let's make it even nicer. Boom. And yeah, let's just set that rally point over here. I'm going to just keep doing this. I actually think we want to just try to get those coal plants up and running. We have one turn over here now until this city is liberated, so let's just get into that region. Shaka is going to attack soon, I guess. Three turns. Oh, yeah, I know what we want here. We want to make a windmill. There we go. Windmills with being financial. If you build windmills on uh, these tiles, they actually become quite nice. Three commerce, three hammers, two food. So we're going to get a windmill over here as well. So that's nice. Small, a small increase, but that's fine. And also just support a uh, little turn of uh, wealth there. And uh, or do we? Sid Sushi, yeah, we're kind of lacking. And I think we're also going to just stagnate this city. Yeah, that's fine. Over here, though, we're definitely going to take back these two towers. Yeah, say that's okay as well. Mm -hmm. 
the city actually became quite okay with uh, the thing. I don't like this city for some reason, but it's it is, it is actually okay. So, oh yeah. So this is just going to be a wealth generation city. So that's fine. Well, it's a positive city, and we get that guy. So. It's okay. One ironclad. Yeah, we need more executives here, so that's not going to be debatable. Culture. No. Well. Oh, we have one executive here as well. So yeah, we'll find uh, find some good use with him. But that's okay. Yeah, let's continue. Okay. Factory. I think we're just going to do this. Such a ch extremely cheap building for us to get. And then we're going to go into uh, the coal plant after. Then we're just going to build wealth in that city, I think. Oh, yeah. So the unhappiness is beginning. And I really don't like uh, not being in emancipation. Not sure what we built. Oh! That's something we have to take care of. Quick. <coughs> yeah, let's build well. Getting a factory over here. I don't know. There's an ironclad. <laughs> Let's uh, keep growing here. So, well, this is a uh, okay city to get wealth in for a couple of turns. Let's just grab that library. No, that old court. That's three happiness. That's a, I would say that's a really good building for us right now. Spread. Uh, that's really nice. Get one more guy down here. Nice. Yeah. Let's see, can we spread? No. Well, okay. And yeah, none of our great person farms has our religion. So, with Judaism, this is going to be so much better. Just going to make the, the only th problem with the ironclad is that they are so slow. Just going to make that guy a little bit faster. Oh, nice. There we go. Can we stop this city from starving? Damn it. 
Nope. We didn't have enough workers there. Or we didn't prepare well enough because we could have made uh, farms. That's a bit annoying. Okay. Yeah, to me right now it looks like, uh, oops, looks like Shaka's having a second ideas about that uh, war. Let's see, any revolt chance here? No. This, you know what, that city is probably going to become, uh, you're like one border pop away and that city will be on, under pressure from Gilgamesh and yeah, that's going to happen. Well, we're starving uh, either way, so might as well just really focus on uh, getting out some culture. Going to get some hammers as well. Yeah. But, uh, why are we unhappy over here? Keep two guys over here just in case. Then the rest up. Get some more of these guys. Yeah, but I'm I'm going to take a break now. Been playing for over an hour. So, this has just been city development. Uh, been uh, empire development. And that's okay sometimes. We have Sitsushi here and we're gonna get our religion here. They're actually going to produce some units. We're gonna get another guy here in nine turns. That's not too bad actually. We can even speed him up a little bit. We can speed him up a little bit if we want to. Where's our next guy? Muso? Well, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Well... We might try it. Yeah, when we get our religion and everything. Can we check that somewhere? Daily. How many points? And this is... This is probably points per turn. Total 46. Yeah. Kish, yeah, that's it. It's not Chicken Itza, that's a great person farm. So, and Delhi, Lakama, is that city? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this is what's going to happen. Guy over here, guy over here, and then we'll probably be able to start a golden age. Because when you get our great. Uh, when we get our religion over there, that's going to go down yeah, a couple of turns at least, so that's fine. Okay, I'm going to take a break now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.